I'm going to give you an overview of all the hardware that we're giving you, all the electronic hardware. You should be familiar with the USB cable. Um, and then we have all these little blocks, SD card, I hope that you're familiar with. And this is just a little battery. And so I just want to go through this. All this does is it's a dual seven segment LED display. And we'll show you that here in a second. This is actually the fun one. This one has the accelerometer and the gyro, temperature, heat, uh, thermal, humidity, light, uh, compass. All of those things are all integrated into these little chips. Okay. And so these chips actually have all that in there. This one has a little battery on here, and this is actually a clock. It's actually running right now, very low power, and it's keeping track of date and time. And it's already been programmed. This one is pretty simple. It just takes an SD card. It's a way for us to access the SD card. And this one is our brain. Okay. Uh, it has a little microcontroller, a little USB port. This is also where we plug in the power from the battery. This only goes in one way. And so that's the basic setup. The most important thing to note about this is that there are two that are not like the others. These three in the middle have a connector on the front and on the back. And they're male-female, so they're opposite genders. The LED display only has the male side and the microcontroller only has the female side. So these ones need a bookend, both of those, the rest of the sensors. It really doesn't matter from that point which order these other three sensors go in, just as long as they're sandwiched in the middle. So there are, there, there's my one, it doesn't matter which order. Some people might want to say the battery is heavier, so I want it in the center. Or some people might want to have the light sensor up on top so it can see light better. But then the LED display goes on top. You do need all of the boards except for the LED display. But if you do not have the LED display, you need to make sure that it's set in the configuration file, which is in a different video. So now we're all set. Those are all smashed together. We're going to take this SD card and put it in there and our battery and we are ready to go. That is our hardware setup. If you'd like to charge the battery, it just charges over USB. And so now we're done. We have our data collection block.